Hey everyone, welcome back. Alpha Troop, this may be our finale. A few days later has passed indeed. Everything is going swell. But Date is looking back on his life. Saito perhaps is triumphant. And as everything flashes back, we learn more and more about the tragic sacrifices that needed to be made. So, we continue with our second half of the story. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Evil look in his eye, proud of, of all of his murderous deeds. He realized that Rohan was not Rohan. Let's say you and I get started. Aw oh, man. Don't like that look. Casually rips out his eye, like it's no big deal, no scream. All right, let's go. And six minutes later, the switch is complete. Ew. <sighs> That seemed painful. What are you doing? Follow him! All of that process was painful. From the eye gouging, to the taking off the machine, to jumping out the window. The mean streets of marble, Golden Yokocho. It's crazy out here. My memories after that were lost in a violent haze. I was forcibly disconnected during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. So, okay. In other words, you, you didn't remember anything either. That's what he's trying to say. So his memories got lost. My memories were left behind in my original brain. But it fragmentized. If, if one survives, you can build it back up. We learned that from the other timeline. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to. But I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. It felt like reality itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost. Like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me walking under the city lights. Too bright. Too bright. When I regained my faculties, I found that I was in Golden Yokocho. My wandering with no destination in mind was interrupted by a woman. You're... I'm... 
Saito Sejima? Hmm, I guess not. Were you here to arrest him, or were you here looking for Date? It's me, boss. Really. Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... Stolen? I mean... Was it stolen? Is that like a lie? Because it's in the same place. It's right in the abandoned factory, so... We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? And who am I? <sighs> Just as I thought. What did you thought? You've lost your memory. Why didn't you just call me Falco? You gave me a new name. Alright. From now on, think of me as your boss. You took advantage of me. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. If you want to live. <laughs> to where you belong. Well, I guess that makes sense. I managed to make a new family register for you. You mean you made me a new life? From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? Well, so, I should live out my other dreams and explore new avenues. You know, really realize my potential. You're a police officer, deal with it. <sighs> but I still get to go in dreams? Yes. <laughs> You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. So those stood on fire, eh? But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. And pull them he did. Who? No one, never mind. So what's my new name? You know, and he didn't question it, you know, it's an awesome new name. Kaname Date. Awesome. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. You didn't tell me your real name? P. 
pewter's not pewter. Man, no one who they, no one was who they really were when you first started this game. Like everyone had another alias, another life. So much secrets, and we uncovered them. That feeling, man, is really kicking in. Like, yo, you're you're at the home stretch, round in third base, ready to come home and bring it all in. The finality of it all. One year later, I was called into the control room. Peter had something to show me. The official title is AI Ball. Well, we ha we can't call it that. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Dante, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. You mean she's like family? I get it. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? Well, Saito, between my eye missing and uh, the whole drugs in my system, I would say I am terrible. But I did remember my entire life. Well, at least six years ago. Yeah, you know, it's also raining on me. Gonna need a new change of clothes. I've been waiting. Oh man. He <laughs> cut to Saito like um playing Pokemon Unite or something on his phone or Switch. Like darn it They're freaking uh giants out here. They're trolling me. <laughs> I really want you to enjoy this show. Well, I mean I can't do much, so the floor is yours. I need you to see it clearly, awake, looking at it, with your one good eye. Well, first, though, anything I can... First is bookshelf. There are a lot of books. Look at me! <laughs> Wait... A medical stimulation mannequin. It's creepy. Well, not as creepy as Saito. Hold on. <laughs> a CRT monitor. I I'm so hoping that the game triggers something where he, he gets pissed and like he says, Look at me! Like something like that. So that's why I'm clicking around. A bottle of chemicals. The shelf is full of medical chemicals. Well, that explains that. An oil drum. Oh, that's just cheap. Okay, okay. Hey, Saito. Could you at least, you know, like... Not have Renju's dead body there? Renju. A locker. I see a lot of stuff. A metal shelf. Ah oh, man, I was so hoping to piss him off. Okay, check this out. Do we have any plans? A long desk in the corner of the room. It's a chair. Hey, Saito. Um, you have my gun too. Jesus. I forgot the code, but there is a code to 
short circuit eyeball or at least blow her up or something like that. Okay, well we're gonna save that last one for later. Okay, well. Give me some deeds. Stop right there! Lowers his gun. <sighs> Rohan knows he can't kill. He hoped that bullet was enough. Six years ago, Rohan in Falco's body visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. Keep in mind, it was in fact uh, Date who shot uh, Hitomi. And he was just going to finish the job, and that's when Boss intervened. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. Yep. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. Sucks for him. It only makes sense. Did he rat you out? Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title Assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. Well, what would be worse? Execution, but you know. You deserved far worse. I mean... Sure, but I was gonna serve life in jail. That's bad. Consider yourself lucky. And now I'm in this hellhole, so hmm. I like good that turning out, huh? You would know more about that than me. Well, fair enough, but... Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. You even took my body. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Word, Hayato. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine a police officer being a serial killer. Imagine an underpaid police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Public shame. They'll never hire you again for any other job. Heads would roll. Departments would fold. There would be shameful suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. Well then. In a few minutes, I guess Date and Hayate were gonna. Hayate. Hayato is gonna pass. I don't think Date is gonna make it, guys. He's gonna have to sacrifice himself. And Falco 
the anonymous assassin was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. A lot of names here to remember. Number 89 is Falco. Falco is Hayato. So, you know, you know, just put that all into one, you know, branching timeline because it will starts off like this. Hayato becomes Falco. Falco becomes number 89. And then this new number 89 is also Date. Because Date or originally is presented in the form of Saito because Date is in Saito's body. Hey man, what happened after we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body, but I was broken. And you're proud of that, or uh, are you upset? The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. We can accept this because... No! Stop! It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Who at the time was you in that body. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time. Who was your lawyer? For a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but... He pleaded like he didn't know anything, and insanity came up, huh? It was determined that he was insane at the time. He was insane, but they didn't, you know, they had no clue of knowing it was another person in the body. Anyway. They decided to keep him in a special hospital. Well, Saito, look over there. Saito's off guard. I might be able to make a move. Like kick him in the family jewels. I try to sweep Saito's feet. But then... You have a choice. Should've kicked him in the family jewels. Right in the old, uh... Grapefruits. Give him the old nutcracker. The Johnny Cage. Well, what choice do I have? Iris and Hitomi die before these two are after. So before or after is my choice? I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I actually get a choice. I'll give you to the count of three. 
One. Two. Three. No, wait! Ow. Oh man, Momo might die. Oh no, he saved us, okay. Okay, okay, he didn't die. He saved us. He chased him off. Are you okay? Hell yeah, Momo. Hell yeah. He's not okay, but hell yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. The bullet went in and out. It's a flesh wound. But good thing I uh, gave away my position, right? What do you mean? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I should have shot. You know? No, but then again, he didn't know who was who. And then he heard Date's voice. Ah. Good reaction time. But are you really Date? I guess he shouldn't, well, you know, now that I think about it, if he did shoot, he would have shot number 89, and then that would have been, like, uh, Saito getting away with it. Yeah. How long were you here, by the way? Did you hear all that, like, story and monologuing? Don't you know? Someone called Aiba told me about it. Aiba really scraped the bottom of the barrel, huh? Ah, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? Well, okay. Long story short, she's an eyeball AI and she's in the, you know, Saito's eye, the guy he chased off. I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> In Saito's left eye socket. <laughs> oh, man. What's wrong? Blood loss, bro. Blood loss. Sorry, but bastard got me. Take this. What, the gun? Please give me the gun. Thank you. Do it! Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I will take Sebastian and shoot Saito Sejima with the last thing I do. You called my gun Sebastian, bro? Yeah, I needed the name. Is that cool? Pretty epic, man. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after Saito. That's dramatic, man. Iris! Will we be able to save Iris? This camera is moving ever so concerningly. Light shines upon them. He has a hotchkiss, he has Iris. And this will be part one of probably our finale down in the books. Alpha Troop, I'll see you next time. I hope everything is going well for you. Have a great day or night. We'll save Iris. But in the meantime, let's just give a round of applause to Momo. He, he, he earned so many points, saving us, giving us a gun. Finally, someone gave us a gun. 
you know like everything's going according to Saito's plan and then boom the unexpected happened what will happen next we'll find out next time